Hey there, welcome to my channel, Mr. Rhino 3D. Today we're modeling something fun, a decorative shelf. Here's how I got started. I used the control point curve to draw the section shape. Then added a fillet curve to smooth out the corners. After that, I copied the section 10 times. Want to make something more complex? Feel free to copy it even more. It's all up to you. Next, I adjusted the shelf baselines by editing the control points of the sections. This is where you can get creative and customize it however you like. Now comes the fun part, using the loft tool to create a surface from the cross sections. Oh, and here's a pro tip. Always turn on record history before lofting. Why? It lets you tweak your model later if you need to make changes. Once the loft is done, I used the contour tool to create new cross sections and finished it off by extruding them into a solid shape. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, drop a comment below to let me know. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more awesome Rhino 3D tips. I'll see you in the next one.